one point I know you were called the most hated man in the NHL, but was that like a badge of honor? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... You worked hard to get that title. 100%. I mean, I was on the cover of the Hockey News. There was no way at that point, at that age, at my skill set, even though I was, a, I, was a, I was a good player, was I going to be on the cover of the Hockey News? So to me, you know, I was doing everything right. Outside of hockey, you know, you're, you're that crazy guy that interned with Vogue in the summer, went to New York Fashion Week, things that not many guys were doing, hockey yeah. players yeah. certainly. Did you get digs from guys for being so involved in the fashion world? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a pie to the decisions that I made as far as interning at Vogue or um, being so out there with my love of things that weren't normal uh, to hockey players, certainly, or, or to the sports world. I think a piece of that pie was the reaction that it would get from people and it fed into the ability to make them upset with me and kind of which again it all comes back to that yeah yeah i mean this this is there's some psychiatric explanation yes. for all of this it probably is there's no question you have a a whole chapter in your book on the avery rule yeah i think we all remember that game tell us how that all came about it, it didn't come to me until probably I would say 15 seconds before I went out on the ice. But I just said, screw it. And I got closer and closer. And as I got closer, it just kind of hit me. And I put my hand up in his face. And what I can was still. What's his first reaction? No, I yeah. can still remember seeing his eyes sort of change a different color. And half of it was shock and half of it was anger. Never seen anything like that. No. And then I went to bed and woke up and there was a, a new rule. I was a little upset, but I. I mean, obviously, I guess I secretly loved every minute of it, for sure. More attention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a real egomaniac. I can see that. When the NHL sent me to rehab, which I just, for the book, I started to do some, some digging on that whole process, and I reached out to the facility that they sent me in California, and I asked them to send me the file. And it took a th four or five weeks to get back a file, and the file was two pages. It was, you know, I asked them, is the file normally this big? And they said, well, no, not normally. You have years of history, substance abuse, or... I said, okay, no problem. So I, I opened it up and I read it, and the two pages said I was a narcissist. And uh, I was said, clearly, I, I think... I could have told you that I, before yeah, I even I knew went. that. Um, but that was, yeah, that was a crazy time for sure. Do you regret much about the things that you did over your career? No, I regret if I didn't do everything in my power to uh, make amends with anyone that I had hurt along the way. But for the most part, it was a game. And I think once we put on these pads, the rules change. It's, it's certainly the code that we live by.